So today we're going to take a look at how to save a little bit of money on a fairly common repair on the uh, John Deere 48 and 54 inch mower decks found on the X3 and 500 series mowers. Okay, the part of the mower deck that we're going to look at is back here at this double pulley setup. Um, this is back where your, your primary belt from your PTO clutch comes back to the mower deck and the pulley under that is the one that drives your secondary belt which makes the blade spin and it's not uncommon after these mower decks get a you know a good bit of hours on them or you know a good many years on them that those bearings start to go bad in that double pulley setup you know you get some some wobble there in your pulleys and your you might have some belt problems in um, or more than likely you'll hear them growling and making all kinds of racket so we're going to look at a way to save a little bit of money here on this. Um, first thing you got to do is you've got to remove the bolt that holds the arm to the mower deck. And if you're not, you know, mechanically inclined and don't know what you're getting into, this could turn into be a bit of a tedious job because there is a, a, a spring you got to hook up then. Um, you know, if you don't do that right, you can have a spring go flying across your garage. So... If it's something you don't know what you're doing and you don't feel comfortable with it, make sure to take it to a repair shop. But um, for you guys that are, um, you know, regular shade tree mechanics, this will help save you some money here. Now to take the bolt out that holds that, that arm with the double pulley on there, you stand the deck up or flip it over. Um, you know, somehow you got to get in there. You got to get access to the nut that's on the bottom. Um, so you got to be able to turn the, the head of the bolt you know, on the top and turn the, and hold the nut on the bottom. So... Once you get that, that bolt out of there, that's going to free up that arm and the arm underneath it. But you'll still have the arm that attaches in the back here to the tension rod. You have to unbolt it. It's one screw there. It takes a 13 millimeter wrench or socket. Unbolt it off of the arm and then you have everything free. You know, it's that arm with the double pulley set up on it. And after that, then you remove the bolt out of the center and the two pulleys come right off. So you're left with the arm with the two bearings in it. So this is where this gets to be a, a fairly expensive repair if you take it to a uh, John Deere dealer. Because when you look this up in the John Deere parts lookup, they don't offer replaceable bearings for in this arm. They make you buy the whole assembly, that whole cast iron arm with the bearings and the spacer already in it. And it's usually $60 or more depending on where you live and what dealer you go to. You know, and then, you know, if, if you're having them repaired there at the shop, you got the, you know, expensive labor in it and everything. So, um, the more cost-effective way to do this, of course, is to take the mower deck apart, take that arm off of there, and just knock those bearings out of there and replace the bearings. Now, you know, if you're looking up on John Deere Parts Lookup, like we said, you're not going to find any numbers for that. It's going to say no longer available. But, um... We're going to show you here what you can actually replace these bearings with. So here on the Sten's part lookup page, you can see here all of these different part numbers from all these different OEMs. These are all an interchangeable bearing with the ones that are inside this arm on these John Deere mower decks. So this is the arm here, and um, you know, what you want to do is you want to just knock these bearings out. We took this one out a while. Um, inside there, you'll find this spacer. And there's usually grease in here, and you can even see on this one here, if you look really close at it, you can see the, the rust down there. Um, we cleaned this one out, but there was rust down in there because it got moisture in it, and that's what leads to this bearing failure. You can see the rust on the side there. So then what you want to do is, you know, you'd pop that bearing out too, just replace them both while you're in there. Um, put the first bearing in, stick your spacer in there. Fill up with grease around there, and then pop your second bearing back in, and then throw everything back together. But that saves you from having to buy this whole assembly, this whole arm. And, uh, you know, you can get these bearings for, you know, if you get a, an aftermarket one, you know, maybe five bucks a piece. Um, you know, even, uh, even a name brand one from like Toro or Husqvarna, you're looking at maybe $10 a piece. So you still only have $20 into this compared to over 60 for the entire arm so that's a pretty good savings right there you can see here on the back this is where we were saying about the uh the hole for the um spring tension arm this is where the bolt goes in 
and there's a little dimple right here that helps you line up that arm you put it on there just a little FYI for you guys that have never had these apart when you go to put it back together so so that's it hopefully you guys will take advantage of that save yourself some money so here's another look again at all these part numbers from these other OEMs that you can use to replace the bearings in your uh, double pulley arm for your John Deere mower deck 48 or 54 inch on the X300 and 500 series tractors so I hope this helped you guys out and uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel because we got a lot more videos to come thanks for watching